This hangout is now live. All right, I still have to do one more thing. I have to send a day link to someone. And there it is. Okay, here we go. Ha, ah, okay, hi everyone. How's it all going? It's been a little bit since I've streamed. I was gonna stream yesterday, but I was a little busy. So uh, put that off. Um, so today uh, I wanna get a couple things out of the way. Uh, the giveaway has ended. There has been a winner and they have said that they are willing to let me shout them out. So uh, congratulations to Adam Pope for winning the Guillen. I will get that out by the end of this week. Um, what else do I need to talk about? Uh, I helped my nephew finish his second kit. It was a Hiyakuri, and he likes it. So that is always a good thing. And uh, I have completed my first custom Gunpla. Uh, I will actually do my own thing on that. Uh, it'll get its own dedicated thing. Because I'm actually rather proud of it, despite how bad it looks. So, uh, with all that out of the way, I guess um, I want to mention that uh, this is a rather early stream uh, for me, anyway. It's at two thirty my time, uh, which is Eastern. Um, so, generally, I do these at like eleven thirty at night, and so uh, this is a strange experience. So, as you may have guessed by the title of the stream, we are going to be starting the one one hundred. I mean, technic. I don't like. I don't know what to call this because it's just the one one hundred iron blooded orphans, and they eventually were named full mechanics. But this one isn't named full mechanics. Either way, we're going to be starting that. Um, let's let's get the stuff out. I know that I will be starting with frame because uh, I have looked at the instructions. Uh, that's all weapons. So I don't need that. Also, look at look at those nice golden swords. I'm I'm a fan of swords. Like swords are my favorite weapon. Um, there's some polycaps. Finally, I can finally get to the instructions. Um, yeah, I like swords. Uh, swords fascinate me. Uh, I've always wanted to collect swords, but in my family, weapons are a real no go. So. I can uh, feasibly get away with uh, little swords, but um, big swords are a, are a big no. So, here we go. Uh, I did have a list of things to talk about that um, just to get, get things going. Um, frame, okay. The body frame. So I will need A8 A2 Alright So uh, I'm pretty excited for this uh, I've liked Grimgaard I heard this this particular Grimgaard was like Amazing uh, Some people called it the best kit of I think it came out in 2016 uh, Where it was up there On the list So you know, even though it's probably rather simplistic because it is just an IBO 1100 kit, um, I'm still looking forward to how this works. Um, so we'll see how much I get done today because I generally go for about an hour. But uh, honestly, I have high hopes for this. All right. So uh, H2C4. I lied. Apparently, I'm going to need more. I'm going to need more than just that. Um, what are you? <sighs> See, this is why you don't just go ahead and say, Oh, I don't need anything. Because inevitably, you make dumb mistakes and you throw things away. Oh, I have a viewer. That's cool. Who is my viewer? Anyway, I'll keep talking about Grimgaard. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm rather excited for the Grimgaard. Oh, two viewers. Interesting. Um, I'm rather excited to... Uh... Oh, nope. One viewer's gone. Oh, well. 
uh, the Grim Gear has excited me because a lot of people said it was probably one of the best kits that came out the year it came out. And so when I saw one and, <clears throat> and for like, I don't remember exactly how much cheaper it was, but, uh, it was, I think, I think it was like $5 cheaper than Amazon where I got it from. So, uh, I was, I was happy with it. Let's just put that over there. B1. Here. All right. So. Uh, no, it's the Iron Blooded Orphans 1100 line. Backwards and upside down. So it is it is the scale of a master grade, but it is less complex. Though I will say, because I have made a, an Iron Blooded Orphans 1 100 scale, uh, although they're not super complex, they're still pretty fun to build. So, and they're generally cheaper. So, you know, if you're looking for something on this scale, you probably could pick one of these up for, for fairly cheap. Let's see. Um, that goes there and this. Goes here. Um, yes. Oh, backwards. Um, I mean, in terms of complexity, that that might be um a fair comparison, but these still have like full inner frames, whereas my old uh, RX seventy eight dash five I have on the shelf over there that came out in two thousand three. Uh, doesn't have any sort of inner frame. It's all just, I mean, honestly, they feel more like high grades than this does. If that makes any sense. Public caps. PC4. Um, and then PC4 again. Uh, let's see. What is there to talk about? Okay, I'll talk about the wet. Uh, all right. Good. If you get it, that means I'm not incompetent. Teddy, what you whining about? Hmm? Sorry, my dog's whining in the background. Um. Oh, I didn't trim this piece. I should probably do that. Oh, second viewer. Interesting. Um, so, am I the only one that collects suits based on the weapons you get with it? Because I, uh, I genuinely, like, I'm obsessive with accessories more often than I get obsessed with the suit itself. Accessories call to me in a special kind of way that, I don't know, I find... I find pleasant. Then Teddy, come here. Let's uh let's get a little bit of cuteness factor going on. Here's my Chihuahua. Her name is Teddy. She she likes to interrupt me while I build. Because I'm not paying attention to her. Okay, Teddy, I'm working on Look, I love you. I do. But I'm working on something. That's fair. I, uh, just my obsession with accessories gets, gets in the way of collecting based on looks. Teddy. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's a, she's a good one, but she, um, she has really bad separation anxiety, so when 
when I talk, she thinks I'm leaving. And so she clings to me, thinking that if she does that, I won't leave. But I'm going to be here for about an hour, so I don't know what she thinks is going to happen. You should settle down at some point. All right, A14. Oh, A is black. I don't know why I thought it was... See, this is why I pay attention. Yes. Uh, I would say that uh, my trauma is... Because I have two. The other one cares less when I do things. They used to be better about it, but... I don't know. And the MG full armor gun. Yeah, I mean... I can't fault anyone who has different criteria for how they pick out their suits because generally they're probably better criteria than the ones I have. But, you know, when an accessory calls to me like a big golden sword, um, it generally helps if I like the suit too. Uh, it'll make me more willing to drop money on it just because of its accessories. But... Like, big golden swords? I couldn't resist that. Who could resist big golden swords? This goes... Alright. Let's see. This goes here. No. But it does go there. See, that's the problem. I know it goes there. You just have to work with me. So. In. <sighs> oh. Alright, let's. Different tactics. I'll put that above the desk so people can see what I'm struggling with. Um, oh, it's because I forgot a piece. That makes sense. Generally, if you have all the pieces, things work better. Just an observation I've made in my time building. A... One and polycap three. That's not A. I I will learn it eventually. A one. All right. A one and polycap three. And, all right. There we go. Now we'll see if it actually works. I have this distinct feeling it'll probably work better than than before. All right, got to trim this. Um, hmm, what to talk about? Well, uh I know I'm going to make my own video on this. Oh, that was a great voice crap crap crack. Wow. I'm having all sorts of problems. Um I know I'm going to make my own video uh, dedicated to this specifically, but uh, I finished my first custom uh, gunplay yesterday, which uh, I'm proud of, at the very least. Um, it was based on the GM Cold District, and ha ha, I found out how to make it work. I am a genius. Um, so yeah, I finished my first custom, and I'll briefly show it off. Um, custom paint, custom weapons, decal work, all, all of it. All of it. Um, so uh, that was a new experience. Uh, I had never made a custom, and I had never done basically any of the things I, I did to that thing to make it custom. So the big thing I did was I 
A9, and then uh, the big thing I did to make it custom was uh, paint. But I also uh, messed with the weapons a little bit. Um, I took the butt off the gun and uh, made the clip for it smaller, or the magazine, or whatever it's called. I know people call it different things, but then some people get mad if you call it the wrong one. Um, then I... Uh, thank you for the com for the compliments. Um, I made... Uh, I widened the handle on the gun because the hands that came with the cold district were there. Okay. Uh, we're obnoxious and don't hold things well. Uh, so it now holds that better. I made a custom beam blade, but I don't have it with me. And I also made it a custom sword, which all of these things were my first time attempting to do it. And I will also mention that the, Cold Districts comes with a beam handle that does not actually have a hole to hold a beam blade, so I had to I had to drill that out. And I will say I was uh, moderately successful at that. So, you know, first first attempt, I will say that that was honestly one of the coolest things I've ever done. Teddy, come on, Teddy, you can come back if you're just going to sit nicely, but you're not. That's the problem. Yes, I love you. You are my teddy bear. So please, calm down. <sighs> okay, so do you want me to pick you up, or do you want to just scratch at me? Because I'll pick you up, but you can't just scratch at me. Nope. Teddy, I'm not going to play with you right now. I'm, I'm working on something. So yeah, Chihuahuas, uh, custom. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, it was definitely the most expensive, uh, expensive, extensive modding I've ever done. Uh, it was my f first time painting a full suit because I know I painted detailing on uh, the high grade Barbados because. Um, its stickers were terrible. But yeah. Pretty happy with it. And that goes there. And then over like that. Okay, so... Uh, I, um, rattle can primer, and then I actually had to hand paint it because my airbrush rig that I had a while back turned out to not work very well, so I returned it and just haven't had the money to get a new one. All right, so here it is, uh, the frame of the torso for the most part. There's a, a couple more things I have to do. The, the good thing about a low quality webcam is it hides the brush marks, uh, but actually the gray hid the brush marks really well on the shield and the torso. You can see them really bad, but you know, you do what you do, do what you can. All right, what else do I gotta do? Um, A13. Thank you. I, uh, honestly, I'm not, okay. See, I went back to that one because I keep thinking it's A because I'm so used to high grades. Uh, so yeah, thanks for the compliment. I, I worked, I worked literally all night on that. So knowing it's appreciated is, it's a wonderful feeling. I think, uh, I think my next big plan with it is I'm going to turn it into a diorama, I think. 
because I've seen some pretty cool ones and I want to try my hand at that. And the big advice I got for that <laughs> from someone I know was go to a, a model train store because they are absolutely ridiculous about things for dioramas. So uh, there's one down the street from where I currently live. So I'll end up going to that. And uh, so I'll end up going to that, see what I can pick up. All right, more frame done. Just the back of that, but hey, I'm getting, I'm progressing. Um, see. Six in C7. All uh, right. I uh, I have lofty goals now that I've accomplished one thing. I I've noticed. So I'm gonna I'm probably for that diorama. I'm probably gonna get one of the older high grade zakus. Uh, check online; they're cheaper. Um. For airbrushes? Oh, probably. Uh, I think I was checking on Amazon and they have like a whole rig with what appears to be a decent compressor for about $80. But yeah. I definitely, now that I I have done my first custom and found out how enjoyable it was, will probably be looking into investing in an airbrush rig that is halfway decent. I know uh, a lot of people swear by uh, Iwata brand ones, so I'll probably look into that. Teddy, please. Um, right, there's that one. Yeah, more the white piping on the torso. Getting more done as we progress. All right, A10 and A7. And now I will remember. Also trains and stuff like that for dioramas? Good to know. Um... I would have expected that um, they would have been probably comparable in price because model trains and stuff like that are so expensive anyway. But if they're all cheaper online, that is even better. I would enjoy getting things for cheap because I prefer, well, I won't say I prefer cheap things. I, I'd rather enjoy expensive things, but if I can get something for cheap, I'll prefer to get it cheap. As long as it's of similar quality. Alright, let's see. How does this does this want to uh, 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 that makes sense. That's making sense. Um, so I kind of want to talk about how, how cloney McGeed, Fareed McGillis. Yeah, uh, I try and support my local hobby town as much as I can because, I mean, I prefer buying things like that. And for some reason, my local hobby town has been getting really nice kits uh like this was only $23 compared to 27 or 28 online so i'm actually rather content i've been finding uh kits there for for pretty much uh for on average a uh, slightly lower price but like tools and stuff they're just so much more and i guess that's how they make their money 
So I buy my tools online. Um, so yeah, McGillis for Reed is a clone in like the worst way. Like they, they copied a little too much of Char. Char clones are one thing, but God, they copied so darn much. It's ridiculous. Body frame. Is this frame for the shoulders? Yes. A4, A3. Yep. You know... In the Hobbytown state, uh, mine is uh, just outside of Pittsburgh, I think, is where mine is. Um, so it's not too bad. It's close enough to the city that they have people from the city go. It's like the only one around here. So I haven't looked, but I think the other closest hobby town to me is like two and a half hours away. So this is the one I go to. It's a, uh, it's technically a family owned uh, chain hobby shop. Um, like, the family owns the business and then people can buy franchises. Which is an interesting business strategy. Yeah. I mean, there are hobby towns in most states. Um, I think if you go through the Bluefin site, uh, if you're in the U.S., you can specifically look for uh, shops that sell Gunpla, and they'll give you a list of uh, Gunda Planet in Jersey. I've heard that's great, and if I ever make it out to Jersey, I kind of want to go there. And by kind of, I mean extremely. Because I've only heard great things about Gunda Planet. I also hear that their online store is halfway decent, um, so... I'll probably look into buying from their online store, too. B. Three. E3. Is, uh, is there any good Gundam places to buy from in New York? Or is... Gundam Planet just the go-to for that few states. Yeah, I've heard so many good things about it. It is... You know, you hear you hear good you, get, you, you hear good things about a place, and you go, oh, okay. And you generally expect to hear some negatives, too. But I literally never do. I've never heard a bad thing about it. Can someone explain why this isn't working to me? Um, I would prefer to know. Okay, hold on. Let's go like this. And then USA Gundam Store is real good too. Um, yeah, I've heard good things about that one too, but I've also heard some horror stories of like terrible response when you have questions and stuff like that. So I'm a little more apprehensive about it. Oh, it's only like 20 minutes away from the city? Then that is probably the place I would go if I ever visited New York then. I kind of want to go to New York, but... Um... 
B2. Teddy, come here. Teddy, come on. Come here. I just love dogs. I really do. I love my dogs. But sometimes... <sighs> they know just how to irritate me. And when they irritate me, they get so proud of themselves, too. Also... Probably bring that back up. Um, yeah, no, they find a way to irritate me, and it is like they make it their job to do so. All right, let's see. I hold this in this direction. It goes on. No. Uh, uh huh. Okay, maybe like this. No, okay, then I am genuinely confused. If I hold it like this. Is this not B2? Oh, no, I cut B8. That... That explains a couple things. I swear, this is like my 30-second kit. I don't still read things wrong. Totally. Anyone buying it? Well, I can assure you this is like my 30 second kit. Um, at the risk of showing off everything else, I have. Let's see. Shelves. And then trash strewn around everywhere else, but. Hey, why not? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Trimming. Generally a good idea. Got a little bit distracted because I uh, had a brain fart moment. Which are a little too common for my for my liking, but... Oh, well. Also, I think I saw something on here that... No? I'm just seeing things? No, I knew I wasn't just seeing things. It's all over here. There we go. <clears throat> Oh, if only I'd remembered to bring my water over when I started. And there we go. Now it moves. Let's see, and then this. Goes in. Like. That, I'm assuming. Hmm. Bring this closer. Yes, it goes in. Like that. Ha ha. A shoulder connection. Which is more stable than my one one hundred Schwab Grace, so that is a plus. All right, back to what I was doing. A six, A five, another B three. I'm a disorganized mess. I, I want to get a, a runner separator because that would be grand. My niece has something that would probably work that she got from a neighbor. And uh, I might ask if 
she's not going to use it because she sort of just tossed it in a corner and hasn't touched it in a few days. I'm going to ask if she is not going to use it if I can because it would make my life so much easier to just have an upright thing that I could grab pieces from and not have to deal with stacking them all over my desk. Because as much as my desk is huge, it is not big enough to support all of the things that I put on it. My desk gets so cluttered so easily that I should probably get something that lets me be at least a little organized. Let's see what time is it. Alright, so I will be going for about 24-ish more minutes. So I think in that time, um, I'll probably end early if I finish the the head. I'll probably end when I finish that. So I will feel like I've accomplished something today. Um, what am I doing? What's this? What am I doing? I'm paying attention. No, I'm not paying attention. Uh, I need B3. This one already got it gone. And this one. Let's see. Snip. 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 And then just so I don't forget, because I know that is part of the necessary steps in building this thing. Get this one right now. All right, let's uh, let's get to work on this. Um, I've been building with my nephew uh, a bit. He got his first two kits last weekend. And uh, I'm still attempting to instill the it's not a race, take your time aspect of this. Like, this is in, right? Right? Yes. Okay. Um, even when I'm like rushing to to get something done, I'm still taking my time on what I have to do. And, you know, it's hard to impart on a kid, but when I do it, it will be a magnificent day because he'll be able to just enjoy building. Because as much as he likes building the gunpla, he much more is much more interested in, you know, having them to sit and play with which is why i got him iron blooded orphans ones because they're a little more solid for for the price and so he could just play with them and not have to worry about breaking it but i digress and there we are the torso is complete i am now going to get the head done and the head looks nice and easy all right ouch um a23 c19 um so it's gonna ask me to put stickers over some opaque blue parts i'm not gonna do it because what's the point you gave me this beautiful clear blue why would i put stickers over that um, I think I said opaque. That's not the right word for that, I don't think. They're more, they're not transparent. They're translucent. Here, you can see. Um, I'm not going to put stickers over those. I don't know. I don't know why they think I would want to. Oh, see, here's a thing I could do. I put the stickers on the inside and it makes them shine better. See, that's what I'll do. All right, let's see. Um, 
trim that. And then, oh, I do have tweezers out. Fantastic. I remember my order of operations when it comes to building. All right. There is the half of the head. Here is... Sticker. Um, sticker goes All right then. All right, there is the sticker in in place, and it should make the little blue piece shine. That is uh, a little bit tricky placement on the runner. They have the uh, the gating go right onto the little nubs that that you attach it. And if you're not paying attention, you could snip those off. That's just horrible design. Okay, yeah, I'm much more satisfied with how the blue looks with the sticker behind it. It's a little hard to tell on this camera, but it could have been so much worse. All right, A22. So as I said, after I finish the head, uh, this will probably be the last little, little bit I'm doing. Um... Even if it means ending early, it'll still be what I expected to get done today was the torso and head, so I won't feel as bad. Um, so, if there are any more questions or comments, leave them now as I wrap up the last thing I intend to do. Um, all right. So you go like this. And then, like that. Two viewers, zero viewers. Cool. All right. Back back to just me? That's fine. Um, posing. Um, I like... I've, I've been trying lately to do better posing for my stuff, but hasn't been working in quite the way I envisioned. So, um... I still expect that posing will will be a thing I need to learn. Um, but other than that, uh, I've been I've been doing better at it at the very least. So that's that's exciting. Sh sh show me the piece you want me to use. Okay, it's gold. It's a gold piece. Um, so here, there's really no possible way to do it. But uh, when working with gold, I got uh, gold colored pieces. I got a little bit spoiled by my uh, Kyaku Shiki Revive because it... It's gold uh, was all undergated. And I appreciate that there's no real effective way to do that here, but I would still enjoy it. Let's see. And then... This goes... I appreciate that the eye can turn in its socket. All right. And then... A24 and a poly cap, and it will be done. So, I guess I'll start with my outro spiel. Uh, once again, I'd like to say congratulations to Adam Pope, who won the Gian giveaway. He says he loves Xeon suits, so I feel like it's got a good home with him. That will be out by the end of this week. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, the guy that, like, hardcore stayed and watched 
uh, special shout out to you, my dude, because that's the first time someone's come in and like watched and stayed for any extended period of time. Um, so that makes me happy. Also, uh, thank you for ignoring the dog whining in the background throughout the entire process of this, because that was not intended. Um, this review will not be coming out this week. Uh, I think it comes out next week, maybe? It depends. Uh, I'm letting my nephew review his um his Hugo on my blog. So here we have it. The start of the frame for the uh, Grimgaard. Uh, again, thank you all for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, with all that out of the way, I think it's time I wrap up just a wee bit early for everyone. So, bye everyone!